Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Welcome to my channel. Um, I have started this channel in the days when we are combating the spread of COVID-19. And a global message is that stay home, stay safe. So social distancing uh, right, is only the way to stop the rapid spread of this coronavirus. So everybody is at home. Uh, kids are at home and parents are most of the parents are also at home so uh, here uh, one of the question asked is regarding uh, rational numbers or rational expressions so we know that algebraic expressions are consists of constant numbers and the variables and then there are four basic operations of mathematics that is addition, subtraction, division, and multiplication involved in them. So we know a linear, linear, linear algebraic equation is commonly uh, right, written as 4x plus 16 is equals to 0. It's a linear, there's no exponent, nothing. It's a linear algebraic expression. But when it comes to the rational uh, numbers, Rational numbers are those which are, can be written as in the form of P over Q. That means there is a part numerator on the top and there is a part denominator on the bottom. So not only in math, but in algebra, we also have those expressions. We have where numerators and the denominators. So how we define it is as that, but we have to understand the definition, any algebraic expression that quotient of two other algebraic expressions is called a rational algebraic expression. So what the rational expression is? Rational algebraic, algebraic expression. So by definition, we learn that it is the quotient of two algebraic expressions. So we can see in the example that this is, if, if my example is this, now there are two algebraic expressions, in one in the numerator and one in the denominator. Like the same if I write seven over 15, right? Or any number, so numerator and denominator, which can be written as, so in the math, we have P over Q format. And in algebra, we have uh, constants and alphabets, the variables. This expression will be meaning if denominator becomes zero, meaningless. It becomes meaningless if my denominator becomes zero. So that means there must be some restrictions that if denominator becomes zero, for example, if seven over zero, right? So this is meaningless. This is nothing but meaningless. So that's, that's why meaningless. That's why in definition, we included that if the de denominator should not be equals to zero, this expression will be meaningless if denominator becomes zero. So if my denominator becomes zero, it's infinity or meaningless. So that means we have the restrictions. We sometimes we write down the restrictions in the beginning that this is the restriction. For example, if we have x square minus x minus six, and the denominator is, x cube minus 3x square. This is a rational expression, rational algebraic expression. Now, we have to put the condition that x should not be equals to 0 or 3. So this is my restrictions. If I put x is 0 or 3, then my denominator becomes 0. So there are restrictions. And how to solve these expressions? We have to uh, we have to uh, solve numerator and denominator separately and try to see and reduce it to a reduce it to a simplest form. Simplest form means if something is um, getting cut or is present in the numerator and denominator, we can cancel them. For example, if we, if we take forty eight x power five divided by thirty six x square, what does it mean? It means that 48, you can write 48, you can break it or you can directly give the division. If you divide it by four, 12, so 48 
x power 5 36 x square if you divide this expression by 12 and you divide this expression by 12 so we can be having 12 times 4 is 48 and 12 times 3 is 36 so i have 4 over 3 and by the exponent rule i have x power 5 minus 2 because this lower power in the denominator comes up as a minus so we will be doing exponential exponent rules as well but this is one of the rule in exponent that if we have some power in the numerator and lower power in the denominator the lower power in the denominator will come up and subtract so my answer will be 4 over 3 x power 3 so this is my reduced form this is my simplest form this is my answer for this um, this um, rational expression so we can take any example and we have to do the same thing every time that we have to reduce it to expression where we cannot further simplify it we cannot further do anything with this right so we take the other example 4x square plus 8x uh, 3x plus 6 so what we have to do we have to see the common what is common between 4 and 8 so 4 is common between 4 and 8 x square means x times x and here is x that means i can take x also as common so what is left if i take out 4x from here so if i take 4x from here i am left with only x because 4x is outside if you multiply you can get back 4x square plus now 4x was out 4 times 2 and x is out so i am left with x plus 2 now i have to see what is condition with my denominator i can take 3 common if 3 is common what is left inside the bracket x plus what is left inside the bracket because 3 is out so we have to call the table 3 times 2 is 6 so 2 is left now i can see this expression that x plus 2 and x plus 2 get cancelled and i am left with only 4 by 3 x this is my answer so i reduced my rational expressions to the simplified form we can take third example as well because we have it on the board here so these are all examples of rational algebraic expressions so let's see this x power 4 plus 2x cube divided by x plus 2 now we have to see what is what can be taken out right we have to simplify it so x cube can be taken out x to the power 3 can be taken out so x power 4 that means 3 is out 1x is left plus 2x cube x cube is out so 2 is left divided by x plus 2 and we can see here x plus 2 x plus 2 cancel and i am left with only x to the power 3 or x cubed is my answer we will be also dealing with some more example in the next video because uh, we have something to factor um, uh, a big uh, um, algebraic uh, expressions right uh, so we will be solving some more in the next uh, episode um, to uh, how to solve more complex rational numbers so hope you like the video if you like it uh, press the bell icon button subscribe my channel to receive another video thank you for watching